All right, morning everyone, and blessings to you. Good morning, I'm Brian Tudor, I'm Nathan the Man. We are coming to you, bringing the love of the Lord to over 200 confirmed countries as we continue with our Proverbs series. We'll be in Proverbs 27, 12 through 28, 12 through 28, and we are just lifting up 12 through 27, my apologies, and we are lifting up the love of the Lord, giving the truth to all, to make us all strong, stronger in our Everything that we walk on, but we are no longer walking on this earth. We're treading on the earth we walk on. In the master's name of Jesus. So let's turn our Bibles to 27, Proverbs 27. Let's get a clean sheet of paper. And we thank you for those who joined us last night in our final lesson of Revelation. And uh, again, stay up to date with all, with all of our news and information at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com of our up and coming exciting crusade so let's just get everything that we have our bibles our clean sheets of paper and let's go before the throne of god and pray dear jesus we thank you for your time the endless time of your love that brings us to your road of grace that brings us to your straight and narrow where many are called a few are chosen we thank you for the love the truth the truth shall set us all free the boundless gifts that you have given to us we thank you for this morning thank you for this afternoon early evening so we can lift up our our prayers we can Lift up our repentance so we can receive the new mercies upon this day. Give us the strength to teach us how to pray, O Lord, and we to go forth into this new day, this new afternoon, to go forth to proclaiming the word of God to all and those who need you, that we are a witness to, to the lost, to have that crown, extra jewels in on our crown, to bring in those to the kingdom bound. In the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brethren, and again, good morning to you from Los Angeles, California. I'm Brian Hewitt of MCM Ministries, Morningstar Communications Network. So let's get right into our lesson. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are, and are punished. There is a garment that is surety for a stranger for a, and take a pledge for him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice, ri rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A kidney continual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are, are alike. And whosoever hideth her hideth the wind, and the ointment of the right hand which bewayeth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth a fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. As in water face answer, as in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As a finding pot for silver and the furnace of gold, so is a man to his praise. Through the Though thou shouldest bray a fool in the mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For the riches are not forever, and, and doth the crown endure to every generation. The hay appeareth, and the tender grass sheweth itself, and the herds of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household and thy maintenance for thy maidens. Thank you, Jesus, for the reading of this word. Wisdom of Proverbs blesses us all so we can bring our brain into the clarity of God's mind, God's thinking, God's pouring out his words. We don't want to start our day or, or, or have our day being of, of just filth coming out of it. It's, it's, some people think speaking filth is, is a way of being competitive. It is, it is not. It is just bringing upon one weakness after another into your temple, into your mind, into your life, into your walk, and most important to a lot of us, our, our reputation. So, in speaking of our breakdown, brethren, and again, we did start a bit late, but we're going to do our entire Proverbs 27 today, from starting with Verse 12, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on 
and, and are punished, where there is temptation. If we thrust ourselves into it, there will be sin and punishment will flow, will follow. Now, all of us have needs. Our needs can be a little bit stronger than other people's needs. Our needs, hopefully, are way different than others. But we have to focus on our reality of our redemption with God and make our needs God's needs. God's going to take care of you. God's not going to turn you into a very uptight individual. You're going to be comfortable, loose, exciting to be with, and unpredictable, unconventional, because that's what God wants you to be because we live in an unconventional, unpredictable world. But because Satan, all he wants to do is control your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions, he only has three tricks in his trick bag, he is predictable. Anyone who starts out very nicey-nicey and just um, ends up being, you know, just brought in, we must pray for the strength of everyone in this world and to bring a blessing to all in the Master's name of Jesus. He that blesses this friend with a loud voice, rising up early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. That's, I am now at 14. It is finally to be fond of being praised. It is a temptation to pride. And let me just go back to 13 that I... <clears throat> take the, take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge for of him for a strange woman. An honest man may be, may be made a beggar, but he is not honest that makes himself one. So we need to focus on our selves of where God wants us. There are many brilliant homeless people that my wife and I preach to and teach to, but even though God has a select people there as angels, God did not create you to be homeless. God did not create you to be someone who is going from one alleged bleeding disorder to another. God wants you to be that strong, victorious child, to be an example to those around you. In Jesus' name. In 15 and 16 of Proverbs 27, a continual drop in, in, in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. We are cautioned to take heed that of whom we converse with, to hang with. We are directed to have in view any conversation to make one another wiser and better. So, Again, someone is full of wrath. You put, you witness to them, make them full of love. You we <clears throat> have a lot of responsibility of being Christians, of of being ministers, of of going out and having the all and all come into our life. And and Proverbs eighteen. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Though a, call, a calling be labors and despise, yet those who keep to it will find there is something to be to be got by it. God is a master who is who has engaged to honor those who serve him faithfully. In Proverbs nineteen. We thank you, O Lord, for this time to express your truth for wisdom and your love. As, a, as is water, as water face and answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. One corrupt heart is like another, so are sanctified hearts. The former bear the same image of the earthly, the later the same image of the heavenly. Let us be careful, watch our own hearts, comparing them with the Word of God. So what pours out of your heart is God speaking through your heart. We must speak our words, not so much carefully, but speak our words like God is speaking. No, we're not putting ourselves equal to God, but we should be ambassadors to Christ, so we must speak like we are the flow of God's fountains of blessing to others, and to be strong examples doesn't mean we have to dress up in canali suits or expensive outfits. God wants us to take care of our temples, take care of our minds, express 
the utmost clarity in everything that we do. In Proverbs 20, we, the Lord does sing loud to us, Hell and destruction are never full, so as the eyes of man are never satisfied. So a couple things are here said to be never satisfied. It's death and sin. Death and sin are the appetite of the carnal mind, for the profit and pleasure are always desiring more. Those whose eyes are never are ever toward the Lord are satisfied in Him and shall never forever be so. So sort of like having an affair behind your wife's spouse. It's it's so much like the chase of to that woman or man and the other spouse allegedly doesn't know. But once there is knowledge of it, then the chase is done. And the hurt is, is there. The pain is there. Forgiveness hopefully is there. So we go forward in the masterless name of Jesus. Sp speaking of, of all the words flowing from our tongues and our hearts to be one mind and one judgment of Christ in Jesus' name. How is this done, brethren? We speak of the love of the Lord. We speak of the, of the love of truth. The truth does set us all free. The truth does give to us all loving moments in, in his expression that we have. We see and feel This time, brethren, the endless realm of God's love bringing his time frame to that measurement now. And how does this all happen? It starts by coming one step forward in the name of Jesus. It starts coming forward in his masterless name of Jesus. It comes, starts coming forward and knowing the truth. The truth does set us what, brethren? All free all free we are here to bring all of God's truth to us to you and brethren I speak the Word of God I come from a very hard background but God is making everything for me on, a, on his straight and narrow, not mine. And I I did have choices. I either go to hell first class or to heaven or to heaven first class. There's no in between. No in between. We speak the truth that the Lord pours into us. We go into our lives forgetting our past as God wants us to, because we're not looking or living behind. We're going forward. Romans ten, nine through thirteen. 13, if thou, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen, amen. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord for over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Brethren, for those who don't know Christ, for those who are not redeemed, who those who wish to be, have their lives recommitted to Christ, repeat this after me, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and ask you to make me, take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Dear Jesus, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for bringing me forward this morning, this afternoon. As my wife prays your name in the background, I am praising your name. But most important, the angels of heaven are praising your name before the throne of God. It does not get any better than that. Having the angels praise your name to start your morning out. Amen, amen, amen. Brethren, we have <clears throat> expressed
expressed God's love, God's truth, God's truth does what? Set us all free. In verse 21, the Lord sings to us, As the finely pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Amen. Silver and gold are tried by putting them into the furnace and finding pot. So is a man tried by praising him. Dear Jesus, we lift up the poor. Raise the praise this morning. It is all for you, O oh God. It is all for you for that the living word of God has healed us. The living word of God through Proverbs has brought us to his strength. The living word of God has, has brought us to the strength of, pray, of praying for you. Teaching us how to pray. T teaching us how to see with a vision. The vision, brethren, comes first. For the living word of God is always pregnant. Revealing the manifestation of God's glory. God brings you the vision of the basics of training. He's going to send you the people that you need, the pastors, the ministers, the prophets, the bishops, to teach you the living word of God. Like I was taught, many ministers and bishops in today's world that I know, my wife was taught, we cannot do this alone. God does, God is God. But you are just a little old you who cannot be a one-man army. Jesus had his 12 disciples, those 12 disciples, look where we are today. It's, uh, millions, billions, I hope, in the Lord's army, in the Lord's banquet table. Just think how many millions, if not billions, of people will be invited to that dinner before we jump on our horses and take, take over the planet again. So, we come by praising Him. We are blessed to be tried to praise God every day. We lift up our prayers. And remember, prayers are answered first in heaven. But we have to believe in our heart that we shall receive them and we shall ask them. Get into the living word of God, for the living word of God is a healer. My wife has survived many health tribulations. It was the living word of God that healed them. Not the doctor who she laughed in his face with. She, the living word of God healed her. God's giftings of patience healed my wife. I survived many health issues. It was the living word of God. The strength that got me going and not to stop where I was. God is not done with you. God has his task for you. He gives you one big mountain of a task. There's another one coming. Whether it is a lesser one than that first mountain, we must all go forward in the utmost humility in Jesus' name. So some are so bad, even severe methods do not do not answer the end. What remains but that they should be rejected. The, the new creating power of God's grace alone is able to make a change. You have the power to change. Do this for yourself, do this for your family, do this for your loved ones. And then, of course, do it for God. God comes first. You do have the power to change, to make your life into an even stronger, greater one, removing yourself from the yoke of sin. In Jesus' name. In Proverbs 23 through 27, I shall read this one more. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not forever, and doth the crown endure to every generation. The hay appeareth, and the tender grass sheweth itself, and herbs of the mountain are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats milk enough for thy food, for the food of the household, and for the maintenance of thy maidens. We ought to have some business to do in this world, and not live in idleness, and not to meddle with what we do not understand. We must be diligent and take pains. Take pains. Let us do what we can. We still, the world cannot be, be secured to us. Therefore, we must choose a more lasting portion. But by the blessing of God upon our heart, upon our honest labors, we may expect to enjoy as much of earthly blessings as is good for us. So God is not done blessing us. We are going home kingdom, kingdom bound. We are here to share in the glory of God. His blessings, His love, His truth, His truth to set us all free. Brethren, 
you have the power of choices. The power of God's love to bring you to the renewing of your mind, the renewing of your body, the renewing of yourself. Come into us, O oh God. Be with us, change us, flow with us, guide us, be with us. Let us have your pearls of wisdom to come upon us. We went through a very lengthy, detailed revelation series. Nobody wants to rest on this earth with Damon's demonic ways and then rest for a take a nap for a thousand years and upon this desolate earth and then thrown into the lake of fire when you go to your sinner's court. My wife and I do our job. We had the choices to not do this broadcast this morning or to present this broadcast. But since we work for God, it was a pretty good idea that we did. We come, God always has a ram in the bush. Brethren, that was for you. And we come into this God's time, his love, knowing you have the power to change. Do it for your family, do it for God, do it. He created you. He loves you. Let the angels sing in your name and you turn your life over to God. And it doesn't mean you are declaring your oath of poverty. Many people think that the Christian walk is declaring your an oath of poverty. It is not. God has a plan. He has great provisions for you. He does and he does and he does. We come into this way. way. We come into this strength. We come into God's glory. The continuing strength that he gives to all of us. The continuing love that he bears for us. We are to die daily. As I said last night, bring that self off the throne and bring it down. Put it in the ground. Pray through John 12, 24 this morning. And you, that corn of wheat shall explode into a victory testimony and bring others under the wing of those leaves, the leaves of the healing. We are the branches. Jesus Christ is the vine. We got our nutrition and love from the vine. We seek of the glory of God. We seek of the truth. The truth will set us all free. The truth does guide us and bless us into God's business and to God's love. We are kingdom bound, kingdom bound, kingdom bound. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Brethren, we thank you for your time, the endless realm of your love that brings us to your road of grace, that brings us to your straight and narrow. Many called a few I chose. We thank you. For the vessels of honor that you're given upon us as our temples, and we, as you purify them in the cleansing of, of you forgiving us, as you taught us how to forgive others, you have forgiven us. We go forward with strengthening ourselves with your prayer, strengthening ourselves into, into the living word of God. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. I just, brethren, want to share with you a, a few moments here. What my wife and I are doing, we are presenting, of course, crusades over Europe, India, Africa. Uh, we're going back to Kenya very soon, where it continues in Canada, and, and of course, here in the United States. We do need your prayers and support. We ask you to get to know us and, and come to join us at bryanthewood.com, bryanthewood.com. We thank you for your prayers and support. We are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States. Our full name is Morningstar Communications Network. Morning Star Communications Network, our MCM Ministries. We invite you to become a financial partner with us, and your offerings, your tithes, will come back to you as a return on investment that the heaven, windows of heaven will open up, and you'll have no room to place these blessings. These aren't just words of poetry. They are in Malachi. Read through them and pray through them, please. We ask you to join us with our crusades that we are presenting. We ask you to guide us and give us the absolute time that God wants you to give to learn from us, to have these life-changing experiences to change you, mold you, to make you into stronger leaders of God's army, God's victorious army. With us, brethren, we shall be peacemakers and changemakers of this world. You'll be helping those like Kofi Annan, the peacemakers, the changemakers throughout all missions throughout the world. You'll be helping Anita and yours truly the man, Brian Hewitt, to bring the lost with the face, the face of the church, the church of God, with, from the throne of God. God created you. He didn't create you to have your own pity party. He didn't create you 
to have one stumbling block after another. From now on, brethren, we don't walk around those stumbling blocks. We walk through these stumbling blocks. For the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this morning here in Los Angeles, California. We thank you for your time. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.